Hi everybody, this is Weiji. Most of you may find it difficult to pronounce my name. It's Weiji. I'm here to help you with your Burmese learning. Today's lesson is ordering some mohinga. Before I start my lesson, I want to say something about the country and the food here. Myanmar is a Southeast Asian country and about 60 million people live in Myanmar. Rice is our staple food. We have three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lunch and dinner are the most important meals here. We have breakfast at roadside restaurants, which sell traditional snack and hot drink. We call those restaurants tea shops. The most famous dish for breakfast is mohinga, which is a kind of rice vermicelli with fish soup. Some of my friends like to eat mohinga every day. When you come here, don't forget to get some mohinga. I'll show you some line that you might find useful in ordering mohinga. Now imagine that you're in a tea shop. You want to eat some mohinga. The waiter is there to serve you. The waiter said, Ba majem madale kamya. It means, what would you like to order? Listen it again, please. Ba majem madale kamya. In this sentence, kamya is nothing but a polite expression used by a male. If the waiter is a female, I mean, if it is a waitress, she will use she. And the sentence will be Pa Ma Chen Ba Dele Shen. We'll talk about it in the next lessons. Um, what I want you to focus on here is Pa, which is a question word. In this sentence, the verb order is Ma. The helping verb here is Chen. This helping verb Chen is used when you would like to do something, as in Sa Chen, you would like to eat, Toa Chen, you would like to go, and so on. The Le here is a question particle which is used at the end of the sentence. I'm going to repeat it so that you can notice the way I pronounced Pa Ma Chen Ba Da Le Kam Ya. It means, what would you like to order? You want to order some mohinga, right? Now, what you are going to say in Myanmar, oh, I'm sorry, in Burmese is mohinga da we beba. You know mohinga, right? So I'm not going to talk about the words mohinga anymore because you have already known it. Um, de here is one. Pue is what we call numeral classifier. A numeral classifier follows a number and indicates the kind of thing we talk about. For example, Mohinga de Pue. Pue is a numeral classifier. Ben te Chao. Um, chao is numeral classifier here. Ka de Zi. C is numeral classifier. Here in this example, Pue, Chao, and C. Um, their numeral classifier they shows the kind of thing we talk about. So I'm sure you know what a numeral classifier is. So let's move on to the next word. B is the verb here. Uh, the meaning of B is give. Ba is a kind of sentence particle. If you say this, I'm very sure that the waiter will ask you on how you would like your mohinga. The waiter will ask you, Ba jone samele. It's mean, what kind of fries you want to put in your mohinga. Ba is, as I mentioned earlier, it's a question word. Ne here is a preposition which means with. Sa is each. Le is a question particle. In this sentence, the key word is jo, which is a kind of fries that we put in mohinga. There is a variety of a jo. A jo is a noun form of jo. Jo is actually a verb form. So, okay, let it be. 
Um, here we're talking about a jaw which go well with mohinga, such as budi jaw, good fries, pe jaw, bean fries, and jatun jaw, onion fries, etc. Just choose one and say budi jaw ne or pe jaw ne or jatun jaw ne. Then you will get a bowl of delicious mohinga with your favorite a jaw. Well, this is the easiest way of ordering mohinga, but remember, there are other ways of saying it. So, if you want to learn Myanmar quickly, make sure you know the words first. To my opinion, the most important is verb. If you know verb and particles, here is, I mean simple sentence particles. You can create many short sentences. To sum up, we talk about three verbs which are Ma, order, pe, give, and sa, each. And we learned the word chen. Chen is a helping verb. And chen means would like to. And I make sure you don't forget a question word, pa. Thank you very much. Take care until we meet again.